Hey guys, this is Spartan Props, and here is my new video. It is a review of the Fire Team Eagle set. So let's get building. Okay, so here is the build set. First thing I noticed about it is they're not really yellow. They're kind of um, an orangey, tangerine colour. Not that I'm complaining or anything, it is still a good set. It comes with five figures about well yeah just come with five figures you can play it as eagle team in halo 4 online multiplayer and split screen multiplayer and um i think it's really just kind of captured the team well so considering this set is mainly about the figures i'll just move straight onto those first up we have the enforcer the enforcer comes equipped with a binary rifle if I can get this to focus. A binary rifle. Some normal enforced armour. And an enforcer helmet. I think they could use with a tiny black line around the visor. Just to make it more defined. So it stands out a bit more. Alright. So that's the enforcer. The binary rifle is amazing. Best sniper rifle in game. One shot kill. And is definitely to scale here. Black's fine and is one of the newly articulated figures. So there we go. Next up we have the Aviator. He comes with a, a bit light rifle. There we go. Um, all of these are forerunner weapons. So they will all appear in the Halo 4 campaign. But uh, he comes with the same colour Aviator armour. Again, could probably use with a little tiny black outline around the visor. So it's a bit more defined normal aviator armor i do love these style of boots on figures so yeah overall it's a nice figure and the light rifle is definitely to scale up next we have the scout now the scout comes with this stand and a jetpack so this stand can just go into the jetpack and does fit or is balanced very well so you can just stand up now the scout comes equipped with a bolt shot, in my opinion an amazing pistol, and I'm not sure what the grenade is called, pulse grenade, there we go, also appears in the Halo 4 campaign. Scout armour is definitely one of my favourite armours, uh, I think my favourite would probably be the Mark 6, or maybe the Soldier, which we shall see up next, but it uh, again comes in the same colour and I think does definitely looks good with these these this gear next is the soldier the soldier comes with a hard light shield which i shall show you all later when i show the special features about this set it comes with a scatter shot which is the forerunner shotgun which ricochets and normal soldier armor. Soldier armor is definitely one of my favorites. Now, I've never had a figure with soldier armor before, and it's nice. I just want to say these stands are included. Um, some people say that they aren't, but uh, in the set that I have gotten, which I have imported from Australia over eBay, definitely these came with these. Uh, so yeah, all right. Now onto the special features of this set. The main special features of this set is the use of the stand and the hard light shield. The hard light shield can be attached like this on the stand. I guess if you had um, one of the kind of little drones that also appear in the um, in the campaign, and also the new jetpack mold. You can see the mold in the mammoth set, and the mammoth, I think it's reclaimer level in the campaign. So that's looking very nice together. Right, now I'll show you the, the environmental piece. Right, here is the environmental piece. It comes with a light bridge that appears many times in the campaign. A fire team eagle flag, which can easily fit into one of your figure's hands. As if you were playing capture the flag. It comes with these two nice kind of forerunner pillars which really gives it that kind of atmosphere to it and it does 
look really nice when it's all together. Underneath it does include this little stand so the light bridge doesn't collapse because it is four separate pieces and therefore in the middle it would literally just collapse. It's almost got like a, a ramp leading up to it there but it's not to scale. So if I uh, get a spade, which I just happen to have at hand, it is definitely not to scale. There is the spade, otherwise the spade would be able to fit over it. Okay, now this set comes with Oops, sorry, it uh, kind of frozen there. Comes with five weapons and to the best of my belief, four pulse grenades. Okay, so the four pulse grenades. Sorry, this cut out. I'm having a lot of problems with my storage at the moment. But the pulse grenades are exactly like the in game version. The total destruction of everything gun, aka the incineration cannon, looks exactly like its in game counterpart. The light rifle looks like its in game counterpart without the orange markings. I guess that works with all of them. But definitely looks exactly the same. Scatter shot. I didn't think they'd get this bit here. Considering it kind of floats in game. But they've managed to make it look realistic. Binary rifle. My favourite sniper rifle of all time. Definitely looks exactly the same. No difference except the orange. The bolt shot. Yeah. It's good. Although, uh, I'm pretty sure that that bit there was not there in game, but I don't know because I haven't used a bot show in a while. Jetpack. Jetpack is absolutely brilliant. I love putting it on any of my figures because it does look pretty good together. Alright. So, that is the whole set. And I hope you enjoyed. Uh, comment if you have this below or what you thought of it and remember to like and subscribe go check out my instagram in which my username will be in the description below thank you very much for watching goodbye